It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are at the next best thing to a Friday. Just been steamrolling through this week, but you know the great thing about this show is we've got our same great sponsors, including Sherwin-Williams House Paint, 315 Jefferson Street. They've been with us almost from the get-go. And here's what I would do, folks. I would go to 315 Jefferson Street. Don't call 836-8125. I mean, you can if you need to or if you want to. But when they say, how about this color right here? Is this what you're looking for? You ain't going to be able to do that over the phone, okay? And they don't want to video chat with you. You know, they don't want to Facebook Live or anything. Get on down there, see them in person, because then you're going to want to go ahead and give them some money and take it with you anyway. Just head on down there. And we got the Shopper's Guide, 836-3022. Give J.J. Lindsay a call for all your printing needs, no trespassing signs, scorecards, business cards, whatever you need. Give the man a call. He'll fix you right up. Tell him Uncle John and Kelly sent you. And we got ProMed Ambulance, 1-800-634-0436. Serving Randolph, Lawrence, Ashley Union, Dallas, and Calhoun County. Give them a call and get signed up today on their Priority Membership Ambulance Care Program. And don't forget, folks, if you missed what we were talking about earlier in the week and somebody said, man, did you hear that Remember When with Uncle John about Gordon Lightfoot? And you're like, man, I missed it. All you got to do is go to some of our podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Pod Chaser, Geo Savan, Podcast Addict, Deezer, any of those, but any place you can get a podcast. Look for Remember When with Uncle John. Pull us right up. Go back and listen to us all over again. Sometimes it's better warmed over the next day. Absolutely. So what do you want to talk about here on the next best thing to a Friday, John? Well, you know, tomorrow's Camden Fairview's graduation and all the schools in the area, you know, it's graduation time and people are coming home and people are you know, getting their getting their Sunday go to meeting clothes shined up and they're, you know, cleaned up, getting their shoes shined, getting ready to go watch the children and grandchildren, the neighbors' kids graduate and church members. You know, church members and all that. And it's that time of the year and brings back lots of memories. Oh sure, absolutely. You know, for some people, this is one of the highlights. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be mean here, but some of them. There was a little question whether they were going to make it, you know, and so the fact that they are a high school graduate, some of them maybe they were the first or one of few in their family to finish with the high school diploma, that's a big deal and everything. Some of them, they know they're going to go on to college, they're going to go on to graduate school, they're going to go get their master's, their doctorate, their business degree, anything like that, but it's something that everybody still goes through. Everybody remembers their graduation. Uh, 45 years ago on the 23rd will be mine. Wow. And, and you know, uh, I, and yes, I do. I remember I remember every aspect of it. I remember everything about the day. My brother wasn't living here at the time. He and his wife came in. You know, my aunt from Little Rock came here. I had, I had out-of-town friends here uh, came in for my, my high school graduation. Uh, it was on a Monday night. Oh, and uh, a little different. And I did what most kids do, uh, and I won't call anybody's names, but the president of the school board, you know, gave you your diploma. Right. And uh, he had a liquor store on this side of Chittister, <laughs> and he handed me my diploma, and about an hour and a half later, sold me a case of beer. Wait a minute. Hold yes. it. Yes. Hold it. The principal of the no, school. No, no, no. The the president of the school board. Oh, president of the president school board. of the school okay. board. They, they, had a they, liquor they, store this side of Bragg Lake. Gotcha. And gave me my diploma, and we <laughs> got my <laughs> picture made with him. About an hour and a half later, he sold me a case of beer. There you go. And there was a there was a club, Sunny Gossett's Club Twenty Four, this side of the Lester Junction there, on Highway Twenty Four. Me and most of my classmates came down to the uh, to Sunny Gossett's Club Twenty Four. And then uh, I got home at 3 o'clock in the morning and was at my first cousin, Jesse Wood Sawmill, at 7 o'clock Woo. stacking lumber Tuesday Man. morning after I graduated. Ugh. That's how my life, that's how my work life began. In the May heat, huh? In the May heat. Got home at 3, got up at 6.45, stacking lumber at 7, 
with a massive hangover, but I was 18 years old and I was in shape. And I was geared for it. There you go. I ain't geared for it no more. Yeah, you could handle it a little bit better back then. But in yes, those days. the president of the school board handed me my diploma and then sold me a case of beer, and nobody thought nothing about it. There you, there Standard you go. Standard operating procedure for 1978. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, I that's. Bet you, I bet none of them that's graduating tomorrow night at Fairview, that won't happen to any of them. Probably not. No, I don't think so. I doubt it. All right, that's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John here for today. But we'll be right back here tomorrow, ready to do it all over again on Top Tune Friday. We'll see you then, John. See you tomorrow, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.